The hostage detainee exchanges between Israel and Hamas during the week-long pause in fighting is putting a spotlight on Israel's controversial detention tactics. The United Nations says between 500 and 1,000 Palestinian children in the occupied West Bank are in custody and not convicted of crimes. CBS's MTS Tayeb reports. Israeli soldiers forcefully detain a group of Palestinian children. Across the occupied West Bank, such detentions are well documented. This was filmed by the leading Israeli human rights group, Bet Selim, in 2021. The youngest of the five children was just eight years old at the time, accused of stealing parrots near an illegal Jewish settlement, something the children denied. They were later released. Of the Palestinian prisoners freed in recent days, over 70 are children, faces of Israel's decades of jailing Palestinian kids through its military courts. The only developed country to systematically try minors as young as 12 through such a system. Ahmed Abu Naim was among the first to be released. At 16, he was arrested for stone throwing, the most common charge, along with, quote, throwing a bomb or incendiary device charges he denies. Naeem spent a total of 12 months behind bars. There were people there who were 12 years old. They treated us very badly after the war. How were they treated differently after the war? Whenever there was a new prisoner coming in, he looked beaten up. Whenever we asked for medicine, they didn't bring it to us. They took our blankets and pillows. They took away our clothes. On cold days, they'd removed the covers from the windows. Research published by a child rights group found Israel inflicts appalling abuse of Palestinian children in its military detention system. After consulting with hundreds of former detainees, it found 86% had been beaten, almost 70% strip-searched, and 60% held in solitary confinement. These children, Palestinian children, are being tried before military courts. Tala Nasser advocates for kids who the UN says face a conviction rate of 99%. There is a military judge, uh, a military prosecutor, no communication with families. Uh, they are blindfolded, tied with the, their hands and their feet. But these are children. Yes, yes they are. In a statement to CBS News, the Israel Prison Service said all prisoners are detained according to the provisions of law and that all basic rights required by law are fully applied and that any complaints will be fully examined. You've been released from prison. What do you hope to do next? I hope to work, build myself a house and carry on with my life. A young life forever changed. Imtiaz Taib, CBS News, in the occupied West Bank.